this is Terry Lou with MyiPadLive.com and this is part two of Reserve for Nina, the tutorial that I started earlier. The first part what I did was took the original and brought it into an app called Word Photo and today I'm going to move forward in with Image Blender and bring the original and the word photo image together and do some blending here. So right now I've got my folder that I called for Nina open and I'm going to tap on the box down here and bring up that library again and I'm going to first bring in the original. Now if you have any questions on how to use Image Blender well I have done some other tutorials in the past on this so I'm going to not go through it in too many detailed steps um, more just talk about the process here not necessarily um, details of the processes and the, the buttons so again I brought in the original and now the second one was the word photo option and I will show you this is when you move the slider all the way over to the left that's the complete original and this is the complete word photo version now one of my favorite blending modes is multiply and when I use the multiply blending mode I'm going to be focusing on the um, foreground part of this image and I want to try to create some different contrast here rather than it being so flat so as I move the slider over to the right I'm looking at the foreground like I said the bowl that the creamers are in and so forth and I'm going to select an area right in here and I'm going to save this to the camera roll as another layer now I do not want to start over with a clean object because I want to start over again so I just tap anywhere on the screen and now I'm going to focus on the more wider parts of the image and not so much um, I don't want the words to be quite as pronounced so I'm gonna lighten them just a tad here and just so they are there just a bit a bit and tap save again back to the camera roll unfortunately you can't save directly to a folder um, so as you saw I created a folder after the fact so that's the part of image blender now what I have, if we go back to my photos here, the ones for Nina, I have the original. I have the one that I processed just with Word Photo. And again, if you go to part one of this, um, Reserve for Nina, you will see how I created this one. And then I created the darker version. And then I created the lighter version. And the last two here were in image blender. Now from here I'm going to bring um, these different layers into actually all three of these layers into filter storm um, two at a time and I'm going to end up first of all um, blending again you can see that I've brought in the portion that breaks the cup and the white parts a little lighter and I darkened um, the foreground where the bowl is sitting and then I also was able to bring in um, the original image and I made the plaque completely um, visible with no words at all on it. So I'm going to demonstrate how I processed and got that all to happen with FilterStorm. I'm going to go into my favorite apps, select FilterStorm. I'm not going to go to my unfinished image. I'm going to load a photo from my photo library. I'm actually going to go for Nina. Now, so which one am I going to start with? Like I said, the top four images are the layers that I'm going to work on. The first one being the original, the second one being the word photo, the third one is the dark parts in Image Blender, and the fourth one is the light parts in Image Blender. So I have four layers. So I think of it as which one of these images am I going to want most of the pieces of. And in this case, I'm going to want the word photo one, the second one, is going to have most of the 
pieces and not that are not going to be changed. So I'm going to tap on that one. And so it'll load that image. And then I'm going to go to filters. One of the favorite things I like to do is add exposure. Now add exposure in my mind means add a layer. So I'm going to go back to my folder for Nina and then I'm going to pick this time the layer which is the third one over of the dark areas of the bowl that the creamer goes into. Again this is going to now make a selection concept for me. And here you have a double exposure now of both of those layers and I'm going to now tap fit to image. And what happens when I hit tap fit to image it will now show me the first image that I brought into FilterStorm but in the background is where the second image which is the darker image is is um, and I'm going to pull that forward and expose it by tapping on the brush and painting in the brush um, with the brush. Now in this case I'm going to bring up the opacity to a hundred um, and as you see the diameter, I'm going to want the diameter to be a little bit bigger. And before I start painting in there, I'm first going to tap on the zoom tool, zoom move tool, and I'm going to take this area where I know I want to work, which is the bowl, and I'm going to again select the brush, and now I get to see the size of brush that I want. See, the brush size changes as you zoom, so you want to be sure that you don't get too small of a brush. And now as I paint, you can see that I'm exposing the darker blend image blender image that I brought in second as an add exposure. Again, please don't think of this as always adding an exposure. It happens to be adding a dark exposure this time. I moved back and forth from my tools. Now I went to the zoom um, pinch tool again. Take the brush. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. Paint in this corner and again just being zooming in this is one of the reasons that I love this app is you're able to zoom in quite a bit and that's all I wanted to do with the, this part of the image is just paint in the a darker um, bowl that seemed more realistic to me so from here I'm going to tap on the check mark which means that I'm done with that masking part. And now I'm going to add exposure again. Tap on add exposure. This time I'm going to bring in another layer. And this is going to, the layer I'm going to bring in this time is for the white part of, of the cup and the other white parts. So it doesn't have the words popping out so much. So that'll be the fourth lim image over. Again, it'll bring me into this double exposure mode. For the purpose of what I'm doing this time, I'll just tap it, fit to image. And again, the, the second version that I brought in, the one I just brought in, um, that I'm going to use is on the back of, of this, mm -hmm. I guess hidden behind is a better way to say, way to say it. So I zoomed in, I'm going to select the brush. And now, as you see, I'm lightening the area of the white, just painting it in, just so these words aren't quite as pronounced. And a lot of people ask me what stylus I use. I don't use a stylus. I simply do use my finger. I really like the feel of the glass. Um, I feel like I'm actually painting when I can feel the smooth glass under under my finger. Um, I know a lot of people um, love their stylus and I think that's great. It's just a personal choice that I have. Um, I also have a tremor so I find that if I was to end up using um, a stylus of some sort it only gets me farther away from the art which creates more of a shake for me. So. Having my finger directly in the glass mm -hmm. is been real beneficial for me that way. So as you see, I'm going to 
not, I'll just show you that I also went over to the other side. And if you do go over um, in an area that you don't want to actually paint in, you can zoom into it, select the eraser, and simply erase that area that you went into. It was a mistake. So you can see it takes on a pretty different look when you are um, lightening these words. And I'm not going to be so particular in this area so I can move forward and um, show you one more layer that I created. So you can see, whoops, I'll just finish this part here. Again, I'm not being real um, careful for this part, just so you could see that I do go back and forth. I zoom in and out a lot. And in this case, I also did paint um, this area here, which I'm going to do rather quickly. And again, this is very sloppy, and this is not the way I would normally do it. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, just be aware that you do go back and forth to clean things up. You can take the eraser. Um, you can also make your brush larger, and that would make things go a little faster. And where um, you make these choices is pretty much your, in your opinion of what, what you want to expose a little bit more, and, and so you don't have all those words all over it. And I probably even did it different this time than I did the original. So now, um, from here, I simply tap on the um, check mark again, saying that I want those changes to happen. And I'm going to add one more exposure. If you remember, I wanted to bring in the plaque to the original. So I'm going back into Fornina. Now I'm bringing in the first image, which is the original. And again, when you bring in an image, it goes behind there. And to expose it, you need to brush, use the brush to expose it. So I just tap fit to image really quickly here. And now it's I'm going to zoom into this plaque, tap on the brush, and simply amazing how different that looks when you expose it here. Now again, this is when you want to spend some more time making sure that you finish these edges nice um, for your final image. And not made it look like you had just sloppily painted. You wouldn't want to do something like this. So you can easily clean that up by bringing in your brush and or your eraser, excuse me. And also another helpful hint is if you lower the opacity, it doesn't change things quite as dramatically as you go back and forth. Um, again, I'm, I'll go off the edge here a little bit. You can see it wasn't quite as harsh going off. And even, I mean, I'll really zoom in when I'm trying to clean up these edges so you get right up in, in there making sure that those edges look really nice going back to the move zoom tool tapping on the brush oops tapping on the eraser um, cleaning that up oh, zoom tool now one thing that I really like to be, be you wouldn't want this part you want the plaque only exposed, so be sure you don't leave the hole open because that wouldn't be correct. So be sure that you erase inside of there again and put the wallpaper back inside the hole. Oops. I'm going to come back here where I made that really big mistake over here. Just clean it up a bit. So as you see, I start. I had have taken four layers and I've combined them. One of the layers was for the wallpaper and most of the image. The other layer was for just darkening the bowl. Um, another layer was for lightening the white parts, and the fourth layer was for the plaque. So that is my um, description of how I took the layers from Image Blender into Filter Storm and combine the two. And for the next video tutorial part three, 
I will be demonstrating Snapseed um, portion, um, also the FX Photo Studio and Dynamic Light. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have any comments or questions, please let me know and I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day.